Do you recall these lesser-known Christmas classics? It's a wonderful day. It's the greatest. And furthermore... Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 underrated Christmas specials. Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at holiday specials that don't get as much attention as others, but deserve to be revisited every year. This is so tinsel! Number 10. BoJack Horseman Christmas Special – Sabrina's Christmas Wish BoJack! It's Christmas! BoJack Horseman makes Ebenezer Scrooge look like a saint, but on his sitcom from the 90s, he plays a father figure who's as loving and supportive as Bob Cratchit. This creates a hilarious contrast as Bojack and drinking buddy Todd watch the Horse and Around Christmas special. You have to watch cheesy old holiday specials on Christmas. It's tradition. Why? They're never any good. Part of what makes this special so funny is that the jokes are purposely corny, and the writing isn't afraid to be overly sentimental. Whenever matters start to get too mushy, though, Bojack is ready to chime in with snide commentary. The result is a fitting balance of sincere and cynical, in a story tailored around little Sabrina's wish to reunite with her parents. Number 9. It's Christmas Time Again, Charlie Brown Guess what? I've been asked to be in the Christmas play! A Charlie Brown Christmas was a tough act to follow, which might be why fewer people know about this Peanuts special. Airing over 25 years after its predecessor, It's Christmas Time Again, Charlie Brown may not carry the same emotional weight, but is still doused in Charles M. Schultz's signature wit. And there were shepherds in the field keeping watch over their flocks by night. Whoop! Meow! Moo! Whatever. The humorous storylines are all ripped from the comic strip, with Charlie Brown becoming a door-to-door -door wreath salesman, Snoopy channeling Santa, and Peppermint Patty turned into a sheep. The funniest subplot involves Sally rehearsing her one line for the Christmas play, which has a slow buildup but a hilarious payoff. This special's quite good, it turns out. Maybe it just needs a little love. It's right here in the script. Number 8. A Garfield Christmas Special Good morning, John. No time for small talk, Garfield. It's Christmas morning, and you know what that means. Of course I do. Christmas means presents. A Garfield Christmas is a fairly laid-back special, which is appropriate considering its titular character's nature. The plot finds Garfield reluctantly spending Christmas with John's family on the farm, where they decorate the tree, sing carols, and partake in other traditional festivities. While that might not sound like anything extraordinary, it's the simplicity of the story that makes this special stand out. Everybody's walking around with big smiles on their faces. Yeah, almost everybody. It demonstrates that Christmas isn't about getting or even giving, but making memories alongside those you care about. The Arbuckle family is certainly a lovable bunch of characters we'd be more than happy to spend Christmas with. As cynical as Garfield is, Christmas can even bring out the goodwill in him. This is the best present a cat could ever get. Number 7. The Little Match Girl This Oscar-nominated short was initially conceived as a segment for the cancelled Fantasia 2006. Although that film never saw the light of day, it didn't stop The Little Match Girl from shining through. Based on the tale by Hans Christian Andersen, this short follows a neglected child trying to sell matchsticks around Christmas time. As others spend the holiday comfy by the fire, the little match girl freezes on the streets, grieving her deceased grandmother. Like Alexander Borodzin's music, the narrative ranges from heartwarming to heartbreaking, amounting to a beautifully animated production. As a matter of fact, this was the last time a Disney animation would utilize caps, which subsequently went out like a candle in the wind. Number 6. The Snowman Like Raymond Briggs' original picture book, the snowman has no dialogue but gets a blizzard of atmosphere across through visuals alone. The story centers on a little boy's relationship with a snowman as they fly through the winter air and party with Father Christmas, and it builds to an ending that pulls no emotional punches. The little match girl is a tearjerker, but the snowman evokes a different kind of sadness. It's a special that fills you with so much joy, only to leave you feeling sorrowful. Then again, perhaps that's a perfect metaphor for Christmas. We never want the holidays to end, but there comes a time when every snowman has to melt. Number 5. Winnie the Pooh and Christmas 2 oh, However did you guess? Winnie the Pooh is such a cheerful, wholesome character that it's impossible not to feel all warm and fuzzy inside whenever he's on screen. So naturally, this Christmas special hits the spot like a cup of hot chocolate or tea with a smackerel of honey. 
airing shortly after The New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh wrapped up. The Hundred Acre Wood Gang goes a little overboard with their letter to Santa. Or perhaps, uh, oh, just give him a pot of honey. Why, thank you, Rabbit. Pooh, being a kindly bear, is determined to make their Christmas wishes come true, even if it means going to the North Pole and back again. Ultimately revealing that togetherness is the greatest present of all, this special is like receiving a hug from a best friend. There he is! Sandy Claus! Number 4. A Pinky and the Brain Christmas Much, much. Ow! Sorry. First the North Pole, and then the world. The Brain refuses to take a break from his world domination plot, even during Christmas time, hatching a scheme to control consumers with his hypnotic noodle noggin dolls. You are under my control. Can you hear? As one of the most well-written animated shows from the 90s, it shouldn't come as a surprise that Pinky and the Brain's Christmas special is a clever satire packed with brilliantly crafted jokes. What catches most viewers off guard is the special's touching finale, as the Brain's affection for Pinky takes precedence over his desire to rule over humankind. This perfect harmony of laughs and heart left Pinky and the Brain singing Christmas carols all the way to the primetime Emmys. Joy to the world! Yes! <laughs> Number 3. The Christmas Toy But how can any toy be greater than Rugby? He's the most specialist toy in the whole world. Almost a decade before Toy Story, Jim Henson produced this Christmas special, which also focused on living playthings and their fear of being replaced. Brought to life through wonderful puppetry, the Christmas toy turns an everyday household into a world of its own. Wanting to relive the morning he was first unwrapped, Rugby the Tiger ventures out of the playroom and under the Christmas tree, although he doesn't realize what's at stake. This is going to be so great! As colorful and charming as the special is, it also has a dark edge, as the toys risk being frozen forever if they're caught out of place. Of course, since this is a Christmas tale, it wraps up on a merry note. <laughs> Number 2. A Muppet Family Christmas Merry Christmas! The Christmas toy isn't the only Jim Henson holiday special that's fallen through the cracked ice. Christmas Eve on Sesame Street is often overlooked, but A Muppet Family Christmas has never even received an unedited release on North American home video. And that is unfortunate, as this was arguably the most ambitious Muppet crossover ever. Not only featuring appearances from Kermit's crew, but also characters from Sesame Street and Fraggle Rock. Who was that strange blue creature? That my kind of fella! There are too many memorable moments to count, as Cookie Monster finds a kindred spirit in Animal, Swedish Chef tries to cook Big Bird, and everyone finds Yuletide cheer through song. Henson himself makes an on-screen cameo, demonstrating how Christmas really brings everyone together. Oh, yeah, watch out for the icy patch. Well, they certainly seem to be having a good time out there, Sprocket. <laughs> Before we get to our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. What a grand and glorious sight it will be when we hang all this stuff on our Christmas tree. Did Santa just say Olive, the other reindeer? He said maybe we'll make do with all of the other reindeer. I won't sell you to just anyone. You'll be someone special. Number one, Arnold's Christmas. I will never stop trying. I would do anything to see her again. Hey Arnold is a nostalgic show that holds up superbly when we revisit it as adults. The same can be said about this Christmas episode, which leaves a stronger impression if you're familiar with the Vietnam War. Learning that his neighbor Mr. Wynn has been separated from his daughter ever since the war, Arnold sets out to make a miracle happen in time for Christmas. Mr. I'd do anything to get Mr. Wynn and his daughter together. Working on Hey Arnold, creator Craig Bartlett was largely inspired by Peanuts, and this special was perhaps the closest the series came to capturing the same magic of A Charlie Brown Christmas. Nowhere is this more apparent than during the ending, which never fails to prime the waterworks. Well, I guess miracles can happen after all. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.